It's the squirrel, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the squirrel. Guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in historic New Harmony, Indiana, and it is we're celebrating my daughter's 21st birthday, and we are renting some golf carts, and we're going to explore the town a little bit. We are going to also go into some antique stores, so I will be taking you along with me for that. It's a beautiful day, and let's go find some stuff. We're approaching Firehouse Antiques in New Harmony. Been here once before. They had a lot of neat things in there. And I'm really wanting to get a Firehouse Antiques t-shirt. So, and this is in an old firehouse. Here we go. There goes Emma on the golf cart. And here we are in. These are cute pumpkins made out of quilts. Hi. And George with Antique Nomad was just in here doing a video. And he talked about the Burma Cave sign. He had a lot of good stories about it. And I'll link his video down below so you can check out his video. You know, I love these old tins. Oh, look, they turned these tins into a candle. Such a little candle, I think. There's the old tollware boxes. Oh, look at the cat ones. Oh, that's cute. Oh, such neat things. I love these old pennants, too. Little Rio Grande, St. Louis. Look at this little lipstick. Say dog lipstick linen. Isn't that cute? There's a little miniature abacus. I love these old fans. Charm of color, Putman, fadeless dyes and tints. Oh, I really like these. That's five dollars. Yeah. Got the baby. Oh, this is the six 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 baby. I've sold the six six baby. There's another fadeless dyes. Oh, who else can see a couple things that mix Misty likes? Yeah, these. Let me guess. This one's probably going to be 18. Oh, it's 20. It wasn't too far off. These are getting harder and harder to find. I love these globe banks. Ugh. They're getting so hard to find. I also like these little, these little lithograph plates. Cute. Look at the little... Mickey Mouse cup. This is J. Chen, which is a toy manufacturer in the 50s, 50s and 60s. My gosh, those are adorable. This little parakeet's cute for five dollars. Okay, so here is a shoe brush. This is, you know what? Ideal shoes. Wasn't that in Bedford? Yeah, but... It's a shoe brush, but what you can do with these... Let me find something that I can show you, like, say with... Oh yeah, here's a card. You can use them as a flower frog. So, just FYI, if you come across these, they do work well as a flower frog. I actually might get that. I love these old toys. 
I have a couple of these turkeys that I bought from George. The antique women. I know. It's a. Two uh, thermos. Yeah. A little place for lunch. I think this is a napkin holder that these plates are in. Mark's brushing me with the uh, with the brush. There's a little boudoir lamp. These are nice too, the feed sacks. They've turned into pumpkins. What, Mark? Oh, okay. The ironstone? Oh, I see it. I like this turkey. I think I'm gonna get this turkey. It's the squirrel, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the squirrel. Oh my gosh, this is great. 1957, it's California pottery squirrel. It's pretty good, I have to say. So you could put air plants in here. Look at his little teeth. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the squirrel. I like the squirrel. I love these banks too, these little. Thanks. I like that litho truck up there too. So I'm gonna get the, I don't know. Should I get the squirrel? Mm, uh, I'm gonna think about, I'm gonna think about you squirrel. I do like the turkey. I like ephemera. Those are neat, the pelican cooler. It's not a bad price, $25 for that one in a tartan jug. On oh, these beautiful pictures. Look at that handsome couple. Oh. Don't think I'd want to mess with her. But boy, look at that dress and the corset. Mm, I love these, looking at these old pictures. I love this doll. She's $20. And these little salts. $3 each. I think I'm gonna get these little salts. They are Nippon salts for three dollars each. I'm gonna get those. What is this little cup with a cherry on it? Think of me. The three beers, a pasting without paste. the graphics in this book. Mm. And then look at those children. Things and stuff to do. Don't we need this during the pandemic for your children? What can they do? They can... There's riddles. Who is this chap? Who got into the jam? old riddles what goes on here around the clock these I'm trying to see who made these i don't know if they're, they're whitman i love a good yeah here we go there's whitman i love a good whitman easy rhyme words dr doolittle here we have a couple of Walt Disney's Lady. It's a nice Whitman book there. These telltale books. I really like. These are kind of neat. I saw these actually in George's video. These three green coffee sacks. I thought they were kind of neat. Oh, there's some paint by numbers. $48. A set of two for $48, which is a really good price, actually. A nice winter scene. So I have a lot of these magazines that these 
you know, ladies home journal and stuff. And a lot of people will take out the advertisements because these are nice. This is an advertisement from a large magazine, like good housekeeping. And they're nice to be framed. You can frame these. This one's from 1954 for the Mars bar. And it's so nice. They have these categorized sodas, radio and TV, soup and cereal, Coke and Pepsi, gasoline and different cars. Games, toys, motorcycles, trains, planes. He's a nice, stately man. Look, he's got a cigar. Oh, here's a wedding photo. That's $6 for the wedding photo. Here's another wedding photo. <laughs> they don't look very thrilled, do they? He especially looks a little annoyed. Probably hours and hours upon sitting through wedding photos. He's a little done. Well, she has to be a school teacher. I know that look, girl. I know that look, sister. You're, you're strong. You can handle it. Lovely assortment of vintage postcards. Some Christmas ones. Just left Firehouse Antiques and now I am going into just looking, just looking antiques. They have a lot of records and a lot of really unusual and fun things. So I'm looking forward to going in here now. Uh, just looking. A selection of things with a questionable past. Here we go. Here we have Dog the Bounty Hunter. No, I'm just kidding. That is, who were you? You were the big John Stud. And the junkyard dog. Oh, here's some treasure craft. Oh, treasure craft. Great treasure craft pieces with the original sticker in there. These are 1962 Treasure Craft of Hawaii. Some nice silverware right here, fake light handles, serving fork, and a knife. It's a butterscotch big light. Here's a popple. Oh my gosh, you remember popple? Party popple. Well, that's a fun glass. $12. These little butter pats. And $9 for the pair. I like the Grecian. Edging on them. <laughs> These little anthropomorphic strawberry salt and pepper shakers. I'm seeing the prints on them though. Here we are. Fifteen dollars. It's pretty cool. Oh, here's a little kitchen witch bell. Look at her nose. She's a kitchen witch. Yep. Yeah, Thirteen dollars. She's great. All right. I'm trying not to talk about the things that George had just talked about, but they do have this really nice Renoir, and some of it's Renoir marks. Um, dollhouse toys. Pretty cool. And the fish house, fish aquarium, statuettes. The thing that I like are these popcorn. Look at the cat. Isn't he great? Look at this little guy. Little dog. Smelling a flower. New Harmony is a nice little town. You got this nice little cafe. Bring your dog. But the next shop we're going to is just down here a little ways. There's actually two more shops here in New Harmony. And like I said, the his, George the Antique Nomad did a very, very good video on kind of the history of the town a little bit and kind of got into a little bit more details about um, who settled here in New Harmony and what makes it kind of unique. But I will link 
his channel or his that, that video in the description so you make sure that you go and check that out today i'm just solely focusing on looking for some cool stuff all right so this is the antique emporium hello Thank you. huh you're welcome so the vinyl records here are four dollars each Mark likes to look at the records. Oh, this is cute. Four butts. For five dollars. It's a little piggy ashtray. There's a little toothpick holder. For five dollars. It's pretty. There's all my little things that I like. Itty bitty little vase. It's so little. Oh my word. That is amazing. Look at her. She's so fun. Oh my gosh. I remember I had a doll as a child that you could flip her head around and she'd be happy or she'd be sad. Happy birthday. Oh, look at the little bells. Those are adorable. Happy birthday bells. It says as is. So let's see. It must be some petals broken off, maybe. Oh, that one's really cute four dollars for the happy birthday bells and the cute little happy birthday box I have to think about those it's a little piece of restaurant here this is Syracuse China it's a really nice pretty design on it it's eighteen dollars for the plate and the cup restaurant where this is for the US Army Corps. It's Buffalo China. Half a cup for a half night sleep. It's a little boot for two dollars. I like it. I'm going to get the boot. There's one that's shaped like a strawberry. These are the best scrubbers. It's a strawberry. Oh no, well it says it's an apple jar, but I think that's a strawberry. This little honey spoon be made in Taiwan. No, nope, made in China. You're a little newer. Oh, there's some beautiful ceramic trees. James Dean. Love James Dean. Some banks. I like this blue pig. He's chalkware. He's fifteen dollars. It's not that bad of a price. Here we've got some shakers. What are these for seven dollars? Well, those are fun. Those are kind of fun, aren't they? Those are different. They're a little thin plastic. We have Huggy Bears. We have Lemons. Let's 
South Dakota. Nope. Although, you know what? <laughs> this is a cute clown. As far as a clown goes, he, he's pretty cute. I don't know what's going on with that clown back there. He's an old man clown? I don't know. Well, that one's pretty cute, I have to say. I will admit that it's cute for a clown. Oh, he's a celluloid baby. Four dollars. I'm gonna get you, baby. You're naked. I like you. Hmm. There's a boy and a baby. With some redware pigs for twelve dollars. Those were seven dollars. say they're pretty cute. And so are these back here. These little prixies hiding behind a tree. It looks like he's up to something. How much are they? $16. A lot more than what I want to pay for my salt and peppers. It's a little, a little elf. Look at this little, look at the little mouse on roller skates. That's Avon. Look at the little bear taking a bath, eating an apple. That's Homeco, but he's pretty cute. Hmm. Oh, there's another bank for $20. Remember, you can find them and buy them for a lot less money. Okay, I'm getting the turkey. I'm going to check out some of these other planters down here, too. There's a vampire bunny. Whew. There's Daryl. Rock'em, sock'em robots. The little elephant planter is 10. Oh, Mark, look. We both had one of those phones back in the 90s. I'm going to look on this side first. Oh. Ooh, that's a Westmoreland fairy lamp. She's going to be a lot too, I bet. $18. That's not too bad. There's a bluebird of happiness. This one is a Ward. W Ward. What do you want? Oh, it's a big one. Oh my goodness. Look at all the little babies. Those cats are 15. Look at the little worm. Look, there's a little critter with a hula skirt on. That's cute. Oh. Look at all the M.A. Hadley. I'm going to have to look through this M.A. Hadley a little bit closer. Mm -hmm.